Joining me now, Omarosa Manigault Newman. She is a former Trump senior White House official, former director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison. She's known Donald Trump since she competed as a contestant on the very first season of The Apprentice back in 2004. She's a New York Times bestselling author of the book Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House. She's run into some travel difficulties this morning, but she has joined us now from her phone. Omarosa, we are glad to have you. Thank you for being with us. I remember this. You you talking about this in your book you talked about the fact that what does he do he, he like he tries to destroy papers he, there was a meeting it involved michael cohen and he put something in his mouth yes hello ali thank you so much for your patience with me and yes my travel joint uh journey and thank you for having me certainly at the time even for me knowing how much of a germaphobe that donald was it was enough for me to just kind of stop and pause and figure out what was going on in the situation. He loved to tear up those documents, but this was the first time after Michael Cohen left the um, office and I walked into the Oval that Donald, in my, in my view, was chewing what he had just torn up. Um, and his habit of tearing these things up, my heart truly goes out to the people who are responsible to going into the trash bin, recovering these things. But there are certainly things that I'm sure cannot be accounted for because Donald Trump became very, very aware that a lot of these sensitive documents would at some point be made public. Tell me a little more about this, because I, 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 I don't know if my viewers fundamentally understand this. So Donald Trump's sitting somewhere, he's whatever, he gets up to walk away. <laughs> And people go and take the papers there, whether they're ripped up or or the papers on his desk so that he doesn't rip them up. Is that how that worked? Yes. In fact, we get a very big briefing about presidential records and management. So there's a trash bin and there's even a burn bag for documents that are not significant enough and they put them in the back. So there's two different systems. And we have been told that if you're with the president and he throws something away or he hands you something, you have to account for that. And in fact, there's a whole secretary who's dedicated to these documents, which is why on the day that Michael Cohen was leaving the Oval Office, I walked back in and I saw Donald Trump you know, looking around, he looked very concerned about what, what whatever was exchanged and shared and what, whatever was on this particular paper seemed to be of great concern to him and something that he did not want the American people to see. So he tore it up like he usually does. But then he put it in his mouth, Allie. So, I, you know, at the time, I know I got a lot of criticism about sharing this story, but it was very bizarre because I've known him for so long. He is a germaphobe. He never, you know, he never puts right. paper, obviously, in his mouth. But on this occasion, he did, which makes me worry that there are a lot of documents that may not be accounted for, that there may be documents that can tell the full story about what encounter, what happened on the days leading up to January the 6th, for instance, that we may never, ever see or may never come to light. However, this investigation continues to go deeper. We seem to be finding uh, uh, information about a narrow circle around the president who was involved uh, in the planning of January 6th. But that does not seem to be slowing his role. He's out there rallying. He's talking about pardoning people. What's your sense of whether he is thinking about or planning on running in 2024? Well, I can tell you with great certainty that Donald Trump is going to announce that he's going to run for president. The only problem is at the time when he was running the first time, there was no history of him from a policy standpoint, from his leadership skills, decision making. But now the American people know what Donald Trump is like as an executive leading this country. And um, I'm certain that he also has all of these legal issues that may become a barrier for him. My sense is that certainly he's going to run. He's addicted to the power that comes with the office. But I'm certain that he's going to find that running while being investigated and by being a two-time impeached president will pose a great threat to his success in that race. Omarosa, thanks for making an effort to uh, change things around and be with us this morning. We appreciate seeing you. Uh, one day we'll be back in person again. Omarosa Manigault Newman is a former senior official in the Trump White House, the author of Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House and uh, some chewing of paper.